Uh, this is a, a map of all the large smash and grab robberies that we saw over the weekend. You can see that they span nearly the entire Bay Area region. And in San Francisco, where at the height of the holiday shopping season now, the city's main shopping district right around Union Square, well, things just look vastly different right now than they have in years past. You have a heavy police presence out there for everyone to see. Yeah, this is in response, of course, to the Louis Vuitton and other recent smash and grabs uh, in that area. And that is where we find our Crown Forest, Dan Kerman. Dan, what are you seeing out there tonight? Well, I can tell you in my more than two decades reporting in San Francisco, I have never seen this many police officers in Union Square, and not just around the square, but down the street. You know, this whole area that they're blanketing goes basically from Mission Street up to Post and then several blocks in both direction of Union Square. Again, more police officers than I've seen in some time. We're right in front of the Louis Vuitton. It is back open today, but boarded up. Many of the businesses boarded up, but still open today, trying to take advantage of early holiday sales. It's been said you can't put a cop on every corner, but in and around Union Square on Monday, there was more than one police officer on most blocks. Police began flooding the area with officers this weekend after groups of thieves burglarized and vandalized more than a half dozen stores around Union Square Friday night, including the Louis Vuitton store. It's all very sad. Um, and I, and I'm, I'm really not sure what the answer is. People had to make a reservation to get into Louis Vuitton on Monday. And those shopping in the area say despite the crimes, they feel safe shopping in San Francisco and will continue to do so. Actually, I feel more safe. It's been, it's been great. Am I going to let fear stop me from what I want to do with my family? But some businesses like Gump say this could be the tipping point which will make them leave the city. Everything's on the table right now, and uh, we love this city. Gumps has been part of San Francisco and part of Union Square for over 150 years. We helped build this vibrant area, and it would be extremely disappointing for us to have to pack up and leave. Officials with Gumps say they appreciate the added police presence, especially with the holiday shopping season approaching, but they say police can only do so much. I think it uh, boils down to uh, our justice system. If uh, these people are allowed to continue to get away with these heinous crimes, then they're going to continue to do it. And what is it going to take? We are so fortunate that no one was hurt or killed in any of these incidents yet. But how long is that going to go? Now, police have said these were planned, coordinated attacks throughout the Union Square area. So far, nine people have been arrested, but they say they are expecting more arrests to come. Live in Union Square, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. Thank you.